Hey guys, hi to the Nash community and to the Margin community. I have the pleasure to have here with me uh, Jonathan, the CEO of Margin, um, and a very nice person as well. Thank you for being here, Jonathan. Yeah, hey, thanks a lot, uh, Fabio. So pleasure to be here with you and to show everyone the, the Margin terminal today, yeah. Yeah, so today we're going to be doing a, a demo of the features and, and going over uh, not everything because there's a lot of things you can do with the margin terminal, but uh, to give some sense of uh, uh, the things that you can do. Um, and to that, I will be using uh, the Nash client of, from margin. I will go show how to install it on uh, Linux, which... Okay. All right. So to do that, I will start by downloading the um, application on the Nash website. The system I use, but we also have clients for Windows and uh, Mac OS. So just it, and then you just um, execute the um, script. It does not need uh, to do priorities. Um, here, I was just. Um, as you can see, I have now the margin client running here. Select Nash, uh, real markets. I will agree to the disclaimer. And here I need to enter my API key. So you can see here behind the screen that I have um, my demo account. I will go to my profile, your profile. I think clicking API keys. Can generate a new API key. I create an API key called margin. Um, this is the password. And this is doing the MPC to create. Um, this key, I will not be using it to withdraw any funds. So I'll just not add any address here. So it means this key is secure to actually um, not withdraw funds, which is one of the innovations. Uh, our own Nash. Um, so here is our secret. I'm copying it. And here is the API key. And with that, I'm able to log in into the Nash terminal. And here I'm looking at the Ethereum BTC market. So again, super easy to have it running and such powerful tool. Uh, you can click I have save it. And here I have the API key. Uh, if you, for some security reason, concern, you can, you are afraid of the key, you can just revoke and generate a new one. You just click uh, on this button here. So very easy to get started. Again, a micro file, API keys, then you generate the key. Uh, with that, i actually um, going to share um, the presentation with uh, Jonathan so he can actually demo all the features of a margin and, and what you can do with the terminal. I will here. Um, so I've installed, I'm running on a Mac uh, and I've installed margin. So you can see the application here. I can just, so I've just downloaded it from the website as well. <clears throat> and then, um, yeah, so Nash uh, is shown here in this drop dropdown. Uh, like Fabio said, we can go to log into the real market and I've put in my API key here. So. You can also encrypt your API key if you want, uh, if you want to have it more secure, uh, because the the application is running locally. And here you can choose whichever pairs you want to uh, want to trade on. Um, so I will log in. Okay, and um, so I've loaded um, three pairs that I trade uh, a bit on, and um, at the top here you can see them. So we have Ethereum, Bitcoin. Bitcoin USDC and Ethereum USDC, and that we support all the pairs on, on Nash. Um, just to say a little bit about the idea of the terminal, well, it's, it's meant to be very visual, and um, there's a, a whole lot of emphasis put on, um, you know, interacting in the chart with, with your orders, uh, visualizing your orders. Of course, there are the bots, and we'll get to those, but 
first, let me just show you a quick once around. So here we have the pairs that we've loaded. If we want to add any more pairs, we can click in this top left-hand corner, add currency pairs, and then you can start typing or you can um, basically see which, which markets are available and, and choose whichever market you want to trade on. Um, and then we, we, we basically have this area. This is our control panel. So for manual trading, um, we see some different, um, like the, the order type and limit and price. And we also have these custom sliders throughout so that you, you're basically uh, not able to place an order that's too small for the exchange or too large based on your funds. So you have these nice custom sliders. And then if we move over into the into the chart area, uh, I've loaded here with one hour candles. You can uh, switch the view to and, and trading whatever candle size that you're interested in and uh, adjust it a little bit. Um, and maybe when you log in first, uh, it might look like this here where you don't see this area that I had pulled out there. Just right click in the chart area and drag to the left. And this reveals this price aligned uh, depth chart. So this is the mm -hmm. basically the order book we see down here, um, um, visualized here, which is quite nice because you can see if there's any walls or when you're placing orders where you exactly want to place them. And um, so, yeah, we also have um, the transactions are here, but I generally like to pull this away and have the chart nice and big. So um, so you can configure it a little bit to, to whatever way you'd like to have your setup. Um, so here we have the manual, very important, the manual order price uh, that you're going to place an order at. So here we have the spread here, all of the, uh, the asks and the bids below. And I can pull and say, OK, I want to place a limit order. I don't want my order to execute straight away. I want to place a limit order. And here I can choose the, the amount. So I'm on the Bitcoin USDC. So I'm going to place an order for, let's say, about 10, 10 USDC. Um, and then I can just place the place the order here. So you can disable these checks or you can leave them in uh, to make sure you get the information about what you're what you're about to do. <clears throat> and then I, um, I place the order. The very, the very first order might be a tiny bit slower because Nash has all this great non-custodial features and it, it's, it's generating all these keys for the transactions but it will be zippy then uh, after that, it should be zippier. So here we see the order and this is really nice. So we have the order book and we see that's our order. If I hover it, I see the limit when I placed it, that it's a manual order and um, I get some information about it. Um, and now I can also, if I want to adapt that uh, order, I can, um, I can basically click on it and drag it. So I can drag it uh, up or down um to the new price point that i want so let's say i want to actually pull it a little bit away i think the price is going to sink a bit i can adapt there's a few options um that you can read about there and now in the background the margin terminal is going to like cancel that order and replace the order at the new price point but as you saw it's all very visual um yeah. and also yeah and, and just to to let you know um uh basically like if we if we jump back to the account that i'm that i'm trading at on here let me go to um uh here so let me just pull this in for a second so the order that i placed is also in my account area this is my limit buy and you can see it there so like if you want to just see the effects of what you're doing in the terminal um you can you can also do that and see what's happening on the website <clears throat> Another thing is you might think, okay, well, this is a limit order. How do I place a, um, a market order if I want the order to go through straight away? Well, you can either choose the price point in the in the other side of the order book, or you can just take a look at it and say, ah, actually, you know what? I don't think the course is coming down to me. I just want to put the order through, um, and I, I want to do it now. And I can just drag it past the spread and then let go of it. I get the same kind of uh, pop-up. It's going to adapt my uh, like my limit order, place it again, and then it's going to go through. Okay, so my my order has executed now, and um, and in the chart, which is also quite nice, I can see the trade I just did. So here's the mm -hmm. trade. <clears throat> I can I can hover it, get the information on it, and um, also if we go down into this area down here, so the active order was was visible here, but there's no more active orders. And I click in here, I see all my completed orders are all available here as well. Um, another nice feature is that I can 
Like I can see some other orders up here. So here are some sell orders and here's some buy orders. Um, if I hover um, like a sell order, it will link up with the next buy order and give me some statistics on uh, if I made a profit or a loss. And, and that's basically shown there. Some other nice thing is that you can also, there's a, an indicator I've, um, I've added into the chart here, which is this view plot profit loss uh, indicator which basically takes all the trades in the current view and you can also hover that and it gets like a bit more details into all the trades you did. The overlap, the amounts might be different, uh, Different. Um, some information on if you were to exit out of the, the token you're in and also you can get a whole lot of information there too. Um, yeah. Another nice feature for manual trading is um, we have this ruler in the chart. So when I come in here, you can see this um, this line, that's this dashed line. Um, and we have the, the trade we just did there. So I can actually like click into the chart and just drag up. And let's say I want to, you know, I, I, I place the trade and I want to make a 2% gain on the trade. But I can drag up here until I hit um, the 2% mark. Funnily enough, that's nearly where my, my order is, uh, my uh, price line is. Mm -hmm. I can even lock this to different elements in the in the chart. So I can lock it to a candle or to a, an order and uh, and be very precise. So I'm at here, I have some statistics about it. And I, um, I also, I'm anywhere we see effective means we take into account fees as well. So you know, I'm actually getting that, that gain. Then I can take my price line and put it to the place I want it. So I want like, 2% here as a, of a gain. And then I can set a sell order. So um, I can choose the amount uh, I want to set the sell order for and basically place my sell order. And now I've placed the order, it's in the terminal, I might, <clears throat> I might close the terminal later, like, like shut it down and all the orders on the order book, of course, here. So that's something to remember, if you're placing orders, limit orders, it's going, it's going to be on the order book, if the course goes up later, we'll, we'll grab that profit and we we'll lock it in. Yeah, and, and this uh, is actually one of the nice things of the um, layer two exchange that we built, right? It's you don't need to have a running terminal to keep the order alive. You actually, it's, it's traditional. Yes. Experience. Yeah. yes, definitely. Yeah, that's a it's a that's a real that's a real help for sure. Um, Jonathan, yeah, so there's yes. I have a question here. Um, uh, you. You are talking about a manual uh, placing orders. What other types of orders do you have on, on the terminal? Yeah, so I think most interesting for a lot of uh, maybe the Nash community and the margin community know it uh, already is that we have a set of bots as well. So you can do automatic trading. And uh, I think that's uh, a really nice feature um, to get and call up the different bots that we have. So we have a set of inbuilt bots you basically come to here on on any pair. So when you switch to any pair, you would always have this option here. And this night symbol, you click on it, and then you have this drop down, and there are a number of different bots you can choose from. So let me um, show, like just quickly show uh, one or two, but um, let's say something that the, the simplest bot we have is a ping pong strategy. So I can click uh, this ping pong strategy. I can give it a name. So I can call it uh, whatever I want, ping pong one or something, <clears throat> and create it. And then you'll see it's going to be visualized in the chart as well. So for the ping pong strategy, we um, usually center around the spread um, with a, a green effective gain of 0.1%, but you can then adapt it to be whatever you want it to be. Um, you can adapt the um, the time window as well to see, okay, maybe this is the time window you prefer to look at. And let's just take a look at this. So here we see just two simple elements. We see a buy price and a sell price. And in here, we see the effective gain. So after fees are calculated, what the effective gain is. So you can say, okay, great. It's at like about a half a percent. That's what I want. And then you can take a little bit like a look back. So what would have happened had I been running the bot? We're in 15 minute candles. So we're at approximately a day's worth of data here. Um, and um, what would have happened when here, if I had started the bot just before, here it would have bought, um, like the order to buy would have went through if I started in buy mode. We, we will start it in a second. It would have maybe just sold here or just missed out. So maybe I say, oh, maybe I want to tighten it a little bit. Okay. 
and it would have sold, it would have bought again, it would have sold again, it would have bought again. So you would have had these cycles. Now, if the course runs away from you, it won't do anything, right? Because it will get stuck, but it will basically keep on trading over and over. And um, it's nice, simple bot. You can choose the amount you want to trade. Uh, once again, with the same kind of slider, you can choose to start in, in buy mode or sell mode. And another nice thing is, is that we have a stop loss option. So I can put in a stop loss here let's say 2%, it's also visualized nice and simply in the chart. I can also adapt it in the chart. <clears throat> and um, if that's something you want, if, if you're afraid that the, the course will run away from you. And then it's, then it's as easy as uh, pressing start. So, um, and now we will see the buy order has been placed here. If we hover it, um, we can see um, strategy static buy price and that there's a buy order placed uh, by the strategy, by this PP1. And it'll sit there. If it gets filled, it'll switch over to sell and just keep going. So that's the the basic idea of 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 the of strategies in general, and that's the simplest one. <clears throat> What's nice is though that you can you can also do more, right? Sorry, if I've been to add something. Yeah, you, you can you can run many at the same time, right? You can run multiple different kinds of strategies on the same pair, and um, so let's do that. So we leave this one running. Maybe it goes through in a minute, um, and let's choose another one. So. I'm gonna choose the Bollinger Band strategy here. Um, maybe um, like some traders know about a Bollinger Band. So we also visualize the Bollinger Band. Um, the default is it, it, it averages over 12 candles. I can, I can hover that and see these 12 candles and I can also adapt that in the chart. So it's infinitely configurable to uh, the way you want to set it up. Um, we can switch the band at which the, the bond, the bot will trigger. So I was on the second band on both sides. I switched to third band. And then there are some parameters for offsets away from the band as well. So as I said, it's all configurable. Um, and what's nice here is, is that like with these Bollinger bands and these technical indicators, they're often a sign there was a breakout or so here we're in the band There's an average like movement of the, of the course. And maybe the, the candle hits the bottom of the band, it's the signal to buy and we buy here and then it hits the course above again and it sells and then it will buy and sell. So like the static ping pong, but more based on the on the data, that's like the data as it's coming in as well, because these bands will adapt based on the, the new data that's arriving. So in that case, it's dynamic rather than static. And um, we have a few options here as well. We can. We can start in buy mode, uh, we can start in sell mode, or we can start in any mode. Maybe we're starting in the middle, we don't know if it's going to go up or down, and we have the funds on both sides, we can start in any. We can also set, um, uh, just like uh, in the other bot, we can set stop losses. And we can also set here a minimum effective gain. So we can say, you know, minimum effective gain, I want to earn like at least a half a percent or one percent. So even if the <clears throat> if the band, if the market contracts and the bands, start to trigger a bit more often it won't it won't uh, trigger unless it gets this half a percent uh, profit <clears throat> and um, something to note with this while the other uh, ping pong strategy um, placed limit orders uh, here we don't actually place any order when we start because it's going to get triggered so I can set an amount uh, let's say we start this one in sell mode uh, do I have enough funds I, I hope so so it will adapt the sliders then. So I will start it uh, with a certain amount in sell mode. And um, and when I start, so the, the annotation will change a little bit and I have a current sell threshold here. So it visualizes it where it's going to trigger a sell order. But of course, this is dynamic. It will move with the course as new data comes in and new trades come in. And then if it breaks out of that Bollinger Band, it will place a market order then. So it will it will just place an order and take then and then wait to buy and hopefully do many cycles of that. And so we can see we have this a bit more sophisticated bot and uh, running alongside a very simple bot, one placing limit orders, one placing um, market orders. So we can place, we can create as many strategies, even like two or three different Bollinger Band strategies working on different candle sizes and, and, and everything. Um, and um, of course, we can also then roll bots out to many pairs as well. So uh, we're not restricted there at all. And there's no restriction on you can only run one or two bots. It's it's basically, yeah, up to you to free your mind and, and, and figure out <laughs> what you what you want to do. So um, 
you, you, you need to work a little bit to win money, right? Yeah, of course. What? And we don't, yeah, we don't say it's a, like it's a total fire and forget. And of course there are defaults when you open it up, but um, it's really a, you know, a combination of, of, of man and machine here. And, mm -hmm. um, and we don't say anything is super easy. We put in some things for stop loss and to, to, to help you along. Um, but as I just showed you by moving a few things around, um, two people could set up a similar bot and ones would trigger many times and make money. And uh, yeah, so uh, yeah. it's also a learning experience. You need to, you need to uh, practice and, and, and try to get better with it, of course. One of the things that I find really powerful in the margin client is the Python scripting as well. Yes. Yeah, so I can show that. So there like there are, I would just say for the other bots, they're, they're all of a similar nature. You can you can take a look through them. We've got this EMA crossover bot, which is a bit similar to Bollinger Band, um, and a market margin maker which places limit orders. But as Fabio just said, we have this Python strategy editor. So you can choose this here. Um, and this will load as well into the into the terminal. So it's just considered another strategy. Um, and um, I mean, we won't be able to go into all the details uh, now because there's quite a, a lot in here. But for, for those who are uh, Python programmers, I think this can be a very powerful tool. So um, in here, you basically get, we've done all the work in terms of delivering the, the candle data and the trade data and uh, all the different data from the from the exchange itself, and you can concentrate on on just writing your Python strategy editor to to basically yeah, you know fire when you know based on your technical indicators or the conditions you set up in your bot, um, and you can directly write code into this into this client here. You can um, you can detach it and have another another client um uh like uh, um editor where you're writing your writing your code in and then there's this um run strategy tab that's that's set up for you once you have your 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 code like your your code already written um maybe one thing i just point to there we have a really nice video so on the margin um on the margin youtube channel uh for anybody interested to go a bit deeper I'll just drag it in here for a second. Uh, we have a like a like a forty minute tutorial where a bot is coded up. Um, that code is also available. And um, if you're really interested, then you can take a look at the open source project for the for the Python strategy editor. So there's some details in the in the um, in the YouTube video um, about that, and then you can join the the community there. And the idea is that over time, so um, that more people will write bots, they might want to share it with the community. Um, uh, and yeah, we want to generate interest in, in building more and more sophisticated um, bots there. They can be saved and loaded or even sold. If you write a great bot and you want to sell it yourself, that's up to you. Um, but the margin, it can then be loaded into the margin terminal and, uh, and used then. So that's something that we're also uh, really happy about. Uh, just another thing, though, and uh, that's all bots, Fabio. There's lots of bots, 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 and I think most people will be very interested in them. But uh, another thing to say is that we really view it as a, a sophisticated trading terminal and front end. And um, like as people get used to it, configuring it, I, I tiny bit configured it there a mo like a few minutes ago. But we have also a, a really powerful um, framework. And if I click once again up in the top uh, left hand corner here. I can add what's called a tool window, and the tool window can be added somewhere on the terminal, um, like attached around the sides, or it can be deep. So let me add it here, and now I have this extra terminal, um, an extra window, I mean, and uh, in this window, um, I can configure it the way I want. So I can set different uh, amounts of windows I want to have in, in here. Let me say, let me do three or like four for now. Um, and then I can click here and I see a whole bunch of other options I can add in the terminal. So let's say you're trading on a whole bunch of pairs. It will show you all the ones you have open and then you can start to load them in here. So uh, I can load in the other pairs. This is all interactable. You can interact with it. Um, let's add in the one we just had some bots on. So this one. Um, and you can see here, we can see our orders. We can see our trades. and 
if we want to start trading in another pair and let's say we have this on a second monitor i might like drag it off to my second monitor um and build up my you know my my trading station the way i want to have it um whenever i see some movements of a particular coin i'm interested in i can double click into into that um um like the one i'm interested in trading and that's the current one we're in we let's double and click into the other one and it will load in the background in the main window and i can start trading on it so i can click in between the different windows um and so you can create many of these windows you can you can size them all different sizes you can have them on a second monitor and when you close margin um it will remember the previous configuration and let's say you've spent a, a while let me just close this now you spent a while building up your workspace um, you can also explicitly save that. So we have the save workspace feature, and then you can load a, a previously saved workspace. Might be technical indicators you've loaded and um, all different configurations of this Windows uh, tool window. And um, yeah, that's that's a really nice feature. There's a little shortcut down in the corner here, in the bottom corner, so I can quickly add it. And uh, let's say I want two things at the side here. I might want to... Uh, maybe let me just show you this. I have this risk management uh, window where I can see my holdings. So I can see my crypto holdings. I can see my um, stable coins. I can see my crypto exposure um, and open all that out. Where are they in fun, in, in orders or in uh, reserved? And maybe I also, yeah, something else. I, I can add things like Reddit. Maybe I have the Reddit Bitcoin um, uh, um, feed and I want to see what's happening, like what's the latest news um or i want to see okay there's a pump dump indicator what's what's been happening in the last the last 24 hours and here we have like the set of coins um i can unclick this margin um logo here and then i'm going to get a full set of coins like over all tokens in the space but if i click this margin symbol i get the coins that are available um to trade on so I can basically take a look here. Okay, here's Neo. Oh, I see it, it's it's gone down two percent. I think it's maybe going to go up. I can double click Neo. It's going to open it up in the terminal, and I'm ready to trade. So you can basically have a look and set up the terminal exactly exactly how you want it. Yeah, Jonathan, that was a very amazing demonstration of the features and uh, just scratching the surface. So I know a lot of people in crypto is really into TA. So yeah. can you show a little bit of the drawing and, and the indicator tools that we have here at the terminal? Yeah, great. Yeah. So um, actually, I had, I had loaded, uh, uh, well, maybe I didn't load one, but anyway. So um, let's say here at the top of the terminal, here you have all of the candle sizes and you have this little flag. And this little flag brings up the different indicators that are possible. So we have everything from Bollinger Bands to MACD, two different moving averages, and you can basically load them in on, on all of the um, all of the charts. Um, so you can take a look down there and find it. As I said, we already loaded in this um, view-based uh, one for profit and loss, and you can basically load in whatever whatever indicators you're interested in trading. And on top of that, for the really sophisticated traders who like to draw support lines and uh, have Fibonacci sequences and all of those things in the charts, we have a set of drawing tools. So you can click on this uh, pencil icon here and um, and then choose a drawing tool and basically click into the chart and uh, um, right click. We have a whole bunch of options. So if you uh, want to to fill them with some uh, some colors or the lines and add labels and 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 everything, uh, this is all available as well in the, in the in the chart. So I can say you can really play around with that and um, use them to also inform maybe uh, if you're building your own strategy or. Um, uh, just to for manual trading, they're a really powerful set of tools. Maybe as a final thing, as you as you get trades in and all, you have these notifications. You'll get uh, desktop notifications as trades go through as well. So you can always stay up to date as to like uh, what trades are gone through and and where did it happen and all of that. That's all all available as well. So yeah, I think it's a, there's a lot to uh, to play around with. Of course, with all the bots. Um, and the manual trading getting your setup just the way you want it um and um yeah uh it's it's a lot of fun so <laughs> i can recommend it that's awesome so i i know i i have been repeating it because we have been working together and learning more about the terminal every day 
So how can people on the Nash community learn more about the terminal, see more tools and join the margin community? Yeah, so that's uh, also a good question. Um, let me just uh, drag in another window here. So this is the, the margin uh, website. So of course you can get your hands on the, on the terminal we've been demoing straight on the Nash website. That's made super easy. Um, but if you want to come over here and check out margin.de, then you can come in here and take a look at some of these features we've been talking about. So we have like a bunch of descriptions about all of these things. Actually, you would swear we, we just wrote it up for our conversation, but it's all, all there. And um, what I can really recommend as well is um, these tutorial videos. So in resources and tutorials, um, we have a nice getting started video, but you guys will already know how to do that. It's made super easy for the Nash community. Um, and then a general overview and then a little bit more detail. This Python strategy editor video I told you about, and then a video for every one of the bots. So you can really get in and immerse yourself and, and have all of the details. Um, I would also say we have this, like um, uh, we use intercom, like for customer support, you can just ping us here uh, if you have any questions. And we have a very like vibrant um, uh, Telegram community as well. So you can come down and join the Telegram community, which is maybe the most um, interactive one um, and directly ask into the margin community of traders for some advice or you'll get in contact with the margin team as well. We also have Discord, it's a bit more organized in there for different topics. Um, yeah, check it out. There's a few different channels. So um, yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of material there as well. Really good. Jonathan, thank you for your time. I know it is a, a late call and a long call. So thank you very much for having the patience to show all the features here for our community. I'm really um, believe that the Nash community will make use of this tool and it will help us all grow together even more. So thank thanks you a lot. Much. Fabio, yeah, I'm really happy with the with the partnership with you guys and uh, for the margin community, whoever's watching this, I can really recommend checking out Nash because this non-custodial feature is a really great one um, and compared to, uh, like, if, especially for people who are really security sensitive there, it's a really great option and we've seen it in action now and we've integrated it, so we're super happy. So yeah, yeah, yeah. looking forward to the next steps together. I think that uh, with partnerships like Margin, we really bring non-custodial to a non-compromise uh, setup, right? So decentralized yeah. exchanges have always been uh, like the ugly duck. And uh, I think we are getting to be the beautiful uh, swan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. So, sounds great. And that's also one more thing like on that whole, because the Nash community is so security conscious, we don't, um, we don't hold your keys and margin. It's a desktop application. You keep control of your API keys. Uh, we don't route your orders to our servers and all, so you can be fully secure uh, in using the terminal alongside Nash as well. So just to say a word about that, yeah. yeah. All right, thank you very much, Jonathan. See you. Thanks a lot and have a great evening. Thanks a lot, Fabio.